Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sumit from Backbench Coder. So this is the first part of our drum kits project. And in this video, I'll be designing this pneumorphic UI. So first of all, create your project directory. I'll say mkdir drum kits. Nice. And cd drum kits. And then open it in your code editor. I'll be using Visual Studio code. Nice. Now create the HTML file, which is index.html. Now create the CSS file, which is style.css. Nice. And here's a note, guys. I'll be using emet throughout this project. So if you don't know what is emet, emet is a nice little extension to speed up your workflow in HTML and CSS. So I would highly recommend you to install this. So let's create the basic boilerplate of HTML using emet. So type exclamation and tab, and this will give you the basic boilerplate. Nice. Now change the title to drum kit now whatever code editor you are using there is a way to run this file in a live server and for vs code the shortcut is fn f1 and then live server just click it so that you don't need to refresh the page every time okay nice and i'll just make it side by side okay now link the css file which is my link css and style.css nice okay now let's see how we are going to design the layout okay so this is a finished version so basically all these elements are wrapped inside a div and this, then this is a title then this is seven buttons and then this is an icon and input slider and then these three icons okay so first of all create a container so div dot container will give me a, a div with a class container now create the title so for the title this is age one dot title so age one with a class name title and let's and write drum kits nice then create seven buttons and i want these seven buttons to be wrapped inside a div so div dot set drum set now i'll be using m8 to create seven buttons so button dot class name is drum say into seven so it will give me seven buttons nice so this is how m8 works now i'll give these buttons a separate class name which is exactly same as the text inside it so for this w w and then this another class name which is a and then the text inside it is a s s d d i am giving this same class name because it's easier to you know select these buttons using javascript so j and for this k done and then go to drum kits okay so you got seven buttons with a title drum kits nice and now let's create this volume icon and input range so i wrap this inside a div which is div dot volume control volume underscore underscore control so a div with a class name volume control now i need an icon here so to get that icon i will be using font awesome so just copy the font awesome cdn i'll put this cdn in the description box so just copy from that and then paste it here the way i link the css nice so in place of href just put the cdn and now i can access all the icons of font awesome so go to font awesome website and find an volume up icon so this is the volume up icon and just copy this code copy this html code and paste it here nice now in case it does not work i look at this it takes much longer time to refresh anyway so if it does not work just change the class name from fas to fa and now look at this nice now i need a larger icon so i can use a class name from this font or some which is fa to x and it will give me a larger icon nice and then create the input type range so input range i'll give this an id which is volume slider volume underscore underscore slider so this is BAME naming convention if you don't know what is underscore underscore. Okay, then I need these three buttons. So I'll be wrapping this inside a div which is util underscore underscore buttons, utility buttons. And then I'll create three buttons. So again, I'll be using m So button, and in this case, I'll give it an ID. So button has, I'll give util underscore underscore button. And I want three of it. So tab, nice. Now change the ID. So 
so now the first button is start auto music oops start auto music i'll change the id which is util underscore underscore button and then dash auto nice and then for the second button so just make it larger okay so for the second button this is change theme so change theme and i'll give it an id which is theme i mean util button theme and then the third one is change background so change background nice and i'll give it a separate id which is background so with this the html part is done now go to the css file well in this project i'll be using css variables to get the colors so go to root and define two variables which is dash dash background which will hold our background color this is has 091921 okay and the second variable should be dash dash text this will hold our text colors and this one and this one is has 00fff1 so these are the two colors i'll be using throughout this project nice so now first of all remove all the default margin so star margin 0 and also remove all the padding so padding 0 it will remove all the default margin and padding and then select the body set the font family so in this case korean new nice and then make all the elements align center to so text align center nice now set the background to the background color so this color is you can use the variable using var so in this case this is background okay so yeah we got the color and now let's select the container so dot container class okay so dot container and just give it a padding and each side which is 10 pixel is enough nice just give it a minimum height of 90 view foot height so 90 view foot height now just give it a margin at top and bottom 3 view foot height and then at the left and right this is auto so this is a nice way to you know horizontally center a block element nice just shrink the window so that you can see this better okay and then just add a box shadow and i'll be using two box shadows here inside the container so inset the box shadows value is 2 pixel 2 pixel and the radius is 5 pixel and then the color should be text nice and then comma then the second box shadow is exactly the same but in this case this should be minus so minus 2 pixel and minus 2 pixel okay nice so we got this nice little box shadows and just change the border radius so border radius 7 pixel nice okay look at this okay let's design this title which is i guess dot title is the class name first of all give it a margin bottom and top which is let's say 20 pixel and zero at left and right change the font size to 4 rem font weight to bolder not normal bolder and then just change the opacity to no, 0.9 0.9 cool okay now change the color to text color which is var hyphen hyphen text nice now let's design this button so i guess this is a drum class so yeah dot drum okay so dot drum first change the width and height so width is 150 pixel height is 150 pixel change the background to background so var background so look at this how easy this is to implement the color using css variable and for the foreground color this is text color so okay text color nice now change the font size to 3 rem so 3 rem and change the font weight to bolder okay bold nice i don't want any border i don't want any outline so border none outline none so here's the magic to implement a neomorphic ui so to get the neomorphic ui you basically needs two types of box shadows one is lighter and one is darker so let's say right box shadow first one is lighter so 1 pixel minus 1 pixel then the radius is 3 pixel and i want to give it a lighter so 255 255 comma 255 
and then the alpha value is 0 0.1 and then the second box arrow is exactly the same but this time this should be darker okay change the negative value to 1 pixel minus 1 pixel to 1 pixel RGBA this time it should be darker so change the color 0 comma 0 comma 0 and the alpha value is 0 0.8 okay so look at this how easy this is to get the neomorphic UI design now just give it a slight margin so margin at each side 10 pixel nice and just give it a little border radius border radius of 15 pixel nice okay fine now i want three of these buttons to be circular so remember this has also a separate class name which is dot w and then dot d comma dot i so in this way i can select three class names so just give it a border radius of 50 percent okay fine so dot i did not work why cause oh it's not oh it's l not i come on so dot l fine now let's design this icon and this slider so first select this input slider which is i guess an id of volume slider so has volume slider this way i can select this so has volume slider nice so just implement some basic style right height is 7 pixel width of 200 pixel just give it a margin left so margin left 10 pixel save it now to remove the default style make appearance none and save it now we can implement our own background color so background in this case i'll be using text colors because you know both are same so you can't see anything if you use the normal background color so what text look at this and now just give it a border radius so border radius of 7 pixel 7 pixel cool i also don't want any outline so outline none now let's design this input thumb which is this little circular controller so i can select this using webkit slider thumb so so first select the input so volume slider and then using pseudo class we can use webkit slider thumb okay so now let's design this one first of all just remove the appearance so that we can use our own style so appearance none change the width and height width is 22 pixel height is also 22 pixel nice change the border radius to 50 percent nice okay it did not work because there is a three colon i need two okay now you can't see because there is no background color so again background color should be the text color so text of not background bar text nice okay look at this this is now it looks much more clean also change the cursor to pointer so cursor pointer nice okay now let's design this font or some icon so you can select this using dot fa which is basically a font or some class first of all change the color so color is bar text color nice and then apply a box shadow which is exactly the same box shadow of this drum so copy the box shadow paste it here look at this you can hardly see the box shadow so just give it a padding of 10 pixel at each side now just give it a circular shape so border radius 50 percent nice fine now let's design this util button so i can select the class name which is dot util buttons first of all give it a margin so dot util buttons give it a margin top of 40 pixel okay then now select the individual util button which is now you can see this button at the di direct child of util button so i can select this using a css selector so dot util buttons now select all the button fine now apply the style first of all change the width height and font so 50 pixel 
with 200 pixel font family sensor if nice okay so i got a larger button font size 18 pixel i don't want any border so border none i don't want any outline so outline none change the background color so background color is bar this background and then change the text color which is color bar text nice cool and now let's apply the same box shadow so this box shadow right here to get the new morphic ui so copy the box shadow look at this nice right and just apply a good margin so margin at top and bottom 10 pixel and right and left 4 pixel now i want this middle button to have a separate color i mean the inverted color so select the middle button which is util button theme the id and then select has util button theme change the color to the inverted value so bar in this case this is background and then the background color should be the text color so bar text nice look at this okay fine now you can see this font or some icon and this input slider is not horizontally centered with each other right so we need to fix that so just select the wrapper which is basically the volume control div now go above volume slider and a dot volume control now to make all these elements horizontal center it is a trick which is display flex and then justify content center nice and then make align item center so okay look at this this is now horizontal center and i need a little bit margin at top so give it a margin top of 20 pixel okay look at this now if i maximize the window look at this how nice this is now you can change a little bit margin but overall this is absolutely amazing now as the body is text align center it will also take care of the responsiveness of the website so if i check the responsiveness look at this this is for mobile device nice so if i go for like iphone ipad uh, just a second okay. look at this okay so that's all for this video in the next video i'll be implementing javascript on these buttons so bye see you in the next video